Now I sometimes get a bit of grief in the comments because these five minute Friday videos aren't always five minutes. But today, there's no excuse. We've got a timer going and this video is gonna be exactly five minutes long. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. It's how to create one of these timers for yourself in DaVinci Resolve. Now, big shout out to a guy called Caves Gaming. He asked me the question on how to do this on Twitter. So if you're gaming yourself or you're into gaming content, why not go check him out? It's linked in the description below and share some love. Right, let's open to each resolve and I'll show you how to do it. So we're on the edit tab as per usual and I've got my clip on my timeline. So we just need to add our counter. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the effects library from clicking up on the left hand side here. Expand toolbox if you haven't already. Click on titles. And then at the top of this list, we're gonna grab the text plus with the lightning bolt to the left of it. Now the lightning bolt indicates that it's a fusion title rather than a standard text title. So we're gonna grab that and just drop it on our timeline, like so. Now I'm just gonna drag that to be the same as my clip. You can just resize it however you need. Now the important thing is the left hand point, so wherever this text starts, that will be your zero. That's where your counter will start from. So that'll be your zero point. Now by default, obviously it just says title, which is not that useful. So give it a click on the timeline, so it's selected, and then head over to the top right hand corner and open your inspector if it's not open already. Make sure in the fusion tab, and then you're on the text area, and it's this styled text that you're looking at. Now what we need to do, anywhere within this empty box, just right click and select time code. And that's it. And it will just add a counter to that text box. And then if I hit, drag to the beginning, hit play. There you go. We have a real time yeah, counter nice overlay on top of my clip. Now also, while you've got this inspector open, you've got different fonts, you can bolden it, you've got colors, sizes, tracking, all that sort of good stuff. Now you'll notice I've got hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. If you want to get rid of some of these, you can do so nice and easy. In the inspector, down here, you've got right on, and then you've got start and end with these little dots on this line. Now what we need to do is drag in from either the left or the right to get rid of the things you don't want. So if I want to get rid of hours and minutes, I can just drag the start to the right, and there goes the hours, and there goes the minutes, and we're just left with the seconds and milliseconds. To do the opposite of that, let me just reset that. I can drag the end in to get rid of the milliseconds, and I'm just left with hours, minutes, and seconds. Now to resize it and to move it around, I find the easiest way, head up here where you've got fusion and then video, click on video, and then you've got all the standard video attributes you're used to seeing within DaVinci Resolve. So we've got zoom and position, so I'm just gonna zoom out, move it over here a little bit, drag it down to the bottom, put it in the bottom left-hand corner, and there we go, job done. Now that's all great if you want your footage to be in real time. So my counter is in real time, a second is a second, and my clip is in real time. Now if you want to speed this footage up, you can also speed your timer up to match. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to this clip here, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna change clip speed, and let's just say I want this to play back at 200% speed. So there we go. So now if I hit play, the footage is at 200%, but my timer is still in real time. So what we need to do, click on the text plus, so it's selected, right click, and then click on new compound clip. Now just beware that once you make it a compound clip, you then can't adjust any of these attributes again. So make sure you've got your font and your color right before you go and make this into a compound clip. Now what that will essentially do is turn that interactive fusion timer into essentially a video clip of a timer. So now you can do whatever you want to this. And so you can speed it up, you can slow it down, you can do all the same things that you would to this clip. So what I'm gonna do for ease, I'm gonna come down to this one and right click, click on copy, click on my compound clip, and then I'm gonna paste the attributes in, click on retime effect so it's ticked, and then apply. And it will just apply whatever changes you've made to this, whether it be the simple speed up like I did, or you've spent loads of time doing speed ramps, you can just copy them all in one big go and paste them to your compound clip. And now if I hit play, you can see my timer is going twice as fast and it's matching the footage exactly. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, comment below as always. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.
Bye.